All right, my fine, divine Saggies, how are you, my fellow Saggies? I am also a Sagittarius. Welcome to Healing Tea Talk, um, and I am so glad to be out here with you. Yes, I am in my PJs because it is <laughs> the wee, wee, wee hours of the morning, but I was so determined to get all of the signs out for the last part of May 2019. Saggies, we are the last sign that I'm doing. I attempted to do this last night and was having some technical difficulties. Um, and so I figured I would do ours last and we could share that moment together. Uh, my channel is a new channel, so I'm excited about the energy, the love, the experience that I'm able to offer uh, my light and love to the world through my platform. Um, I have over 20 years of experience though, as a career and a life coach doing advising and things like that in the higher education arena. Now I'm offering, pairing that with my intuitive gifts. And so I'm really happy to be out here. So despite my attire, I am um, really ready to do our reading here, my fellow Saggies, and find out what we have coming up for the last part of May 2019. I have pre-shuffled. Uh, all of the cards, please like, share, and subscribe. Please, 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 if these messages resonate with you, uh, they will be general in nature. And so if they don't resonate, just understand that. And if you'd like more specific guidance, you can book a reading with me. Uh, my appointment link will be in the description box below. I look forward to us building a community where we share healthy insights, uh, exchange information that helps to build us up and not to tear us down, um, and that really, um, that's what I'm all about, and that's what I hope to offer and receive and receive, so definitely comment. All right, so show your support came out for us, Saggies, as guidance, and then be true to your heart also came out. And then at the bottom of the deck is renewal of peace. All right, and then I'll use the goddess guidance next to get another card for that last part of May 2019 for Sagittarius Spirit. True love. Hey. And then at the bottom of the deck is prosperity. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving Saggies. And then under the true love, it says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you exciting 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 so i will get into the reading um again i have pre-shuffled the cards so holy spirit highest level of guidance for sagittarius the last part of may 2019 all righty and the hierophant came out which is uh, a card that oftentimes signifies marriage. It makes me think immediately. Uh, it came out on top of show your support. There's a wedding that uh, someone asked, was I going to be attending? And so maybe that's what I need to do is go. And so resources could be an issue. So, so the Four of Pentacles came out, which means we are clutching our resources, keeping them tight to the chest, looking at our money. Um but spirit is encouraging us to show support so we could be counting them coins. Said she's like, I don't know <laughs> how much support I'm going to show. I'm looking at my coinage. Three of pentacles, which means we are diligently working on something or starting something. We could be starting something new. But be true to yourself in this new venture, Sagittarius. Um, working on developing a new skill set. Um, be true to your heart. Follow your bliss. I literally have, in the last couple months, completely relocated from Ohio to Texas. And um, 
I am truly following my heart's work, following my bliss. Uh, all right, five of swords. Swords are air energy. Um, Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini. Sorry, I'm a little tired. It's it's very early in the morning, but um. So this five of swords ind indicates a victory after some kind of fight. So be true to your heart. Alrighty, so there. And then two cards for this true love. For Saggies, the last half of May 2019. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Highest level of guidance for Sagittarius. Hello. Okay, so it looks like there's something's coming to an end, or we're nearly at the end of something, and a new beginning is in sight. Here, that Ten of Wands is our fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Huh. All right, and then the Queen of Pentacles comes out there. All right, pentacles represent earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. And then at the bottom of the deck is the king of swords, someone who has built. This is air energy, Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, but uh, someone who has built their, built their empire on intelligence and insight. So we will clarify these cards, Sagittarius. So definitely we're building something. We go from the Three of Pentacles, counting our coins, the Four of Pentacles, to the Queen of Pentacles. So being very secure, um, being um, responsible with our resources, um, sharing them with people we love around us, um, but definitely diligently working on something that looks like it ends up being successful. Uh, it could be that the true love is the work that you're doing and not necessarily a person. So maybe it's really, really loving what you're doing. Um, ending one job and going to a career, which pentacles represent money and resources that you really, truly love. So that could also be that for us, Sagittarius. Hmm. Clarification, Holy Spirit, on the Hierophant and Four of Pentacles here. Under show your support. For the last half of May 2019. For my Saggies. Last half of May 2019. Clarification, Holy Spirit, on this Hierophant and Four of Pentacles, please. Okay, the magician came out, and it's funny because the hierophant is right up under that one as well. <laughs> so manifesting, uh, we could be manifesting. We're very good at that, Sagittarius. We manifest stuff all the time, resources. And then the king of cups came out on top of the four of pentacles. So that's very loving energy. And that king is looking at, and the other Direction cups represent love. They also represent water energy, which is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So we may need to support someone in their love relationship. It looks like five of wands came out on top of this three of pentacles, which is be true to your heart. So there could be some conflict regarding this new venture. Not everybody may support us in our new venture. Um, there could be some competition involved. But be true to your heart. We're being encouraged by spirit. Be true to our heart. Then the king of pentacles came out on top of the five of swords. So it's going to be successful. It looks like a successful business move for us, Saggies. 
stick with it. Don't get discouraged, even though there could be some conflict, um, some negative opinions, some competition. Don't you worry. All right. Clarification for the Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, which is spilling over. This is a golden opportunity. Could be love. Again, really, really loving what you do. Um, and then the Queen of Cups, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, which is a lovely energy, receiving lots of love an outpouring of love and support. So we're going to get the love and support. It looks like Saggies and whatever we're doing, I have just sense and feel that it's more work related and not romantic um, because we could feel like this 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck, like we're sort of in a, um, maybe being in a prison, maybe feeling like uh, we're sort of surrounded on all sides. But we are going to be receiving, it looks like, a little bit of conflict, but more uh, an outpouring of love and support, much more than criticism, more love than criticism. Um, and it looks like that we may be able to manifest the resources we need to support someone in their love union. So I know we're counting these coins, but um, I'm going to read the guidance on show support here. And it says, take time to encourage a colleague, coworker, family member, or friend. Be a strong shoulder or willing volunteer to run errands. Provide a safe space for another's concerns and feelings to be discussed and be a good listener. Jump in on providing extra time. Sponsor someone else's work. Share in someone's success. All of nature continually shows us the value in creating a strong network. The trees provide shelter and support for many different inhabitants. We are a community, and when we support each other, everyone gains. So we are being asked to show our support, and it looks like it really could be a wedding uh, or maybe just in a with this hierophant too can mean somebody who's functioning as a spiritual leader or guide. So it could be in this new venture um, to be there for others through um, sort of like an intuitive or a, I'm going to use the word religious. I really don't like that word, but like a religious leader of some type of spiritual guidance to people, being a support in that way. So it could mean that too. It could definitely mean that too. And then I'll read the guidance that came out for be true to your heart. Alrighty, and it says, let's see. Just a moment. In this moment, draw on the energies of harmony and union when making a choice. The current situation is best supported using intuition and not intellect. The Hierophant card there. There may be difficult decisions to be made that are not necessarily about love. Consciously be aware of what interests you and what attracts your attention. What stirs your imagination and creates passion in your life? Do your best to ignore the persuasion of what others might think or say. Trust yourself and don't allow your opinion to be swayed. Yeah, this is sort of like this five of wands is like the hater card. So there could be some haters, but you know what this also shows me is the passion that we have to fight back, especially something that we're passionate about. Um, and saying, hey, um, I believe in what I'm doing. I am being true to my beliefs and my skill set. And it looks like it pays off monetarily for us too, Saggy. So even though this talks about, con this card represents conflict of some type, haters, people having something to say, some opposition, it also speaks to our passion about whatever it is that we're doing, that we're willing to fight for it because we believe in it and we're building a skill set around it. 
All right, Sagittarius, I'm too excited about our future for the last part of May. Um, thank you so much for watching my channel, Healing Tea Talk. Um, I do have a service call, Let Me Run This By You, which you can access at the link that will be provided in the description box. Sometimes, I know I have had times when I wanted to just run an idea by someone. Uh, I didn't necessarily feel a need for ongoing counseling or coaching, but I just wanted to run an idea by somebody saying who could give me some insight, maybe present uh, a different perspective than the one I was thinking and I didn't necessarily want friends or family to know about it. That's why I'm here. So if you're interested in that, click on the link and look for something that says under services or tasks that says, let me run this by you. And I'd be happy to be a listening ear for you guys. Um, thank you again, like, share, and subscribe as I continue to build content and a community where we can safely express ourselves and gain healing, gain love and connection out here in the world. Thank you guys so much. God bless you, Saggies, and happy second half of May 2019.